Hey guys, Kiryu here, and as promised, I will have iPhone application reviews, and today I do have one for you to start things off. My first review is on an application or utility you may have heard of. It's officially made by Apple, and the application is called Remote, and this is what it looks like when you first launch it, when you first download it. It is free in the App Store to search Remote, and it will be your first result. Um, now, what this lets you do is it allows you to use this as a uh, either your iPhone or iPod Touch as a wireless remote for um, your iTunes library on Mac or PC, um, or even um, you know for your Apple TV if you have if you have an Apple TV. And it's great for media centers, parties, stuff like that. You can use this as a remote, either an iPod Touch or an iPhone. Um, all you need is a Wi-Fi network, as you see in the top. I am connected to a Wi-Fi. Sorry, there's a little big glare there. But I am connected to a Wi-Fi network, and then, so um, you're going to need to be connected to the Wi-Fi that the iTunes is on, and then you launch iTunes. Now, this is what you're going to do. It's going to say, add a library. So I'm just going to say, choose a library, and I already have my sister's library on there, but I'm going to, for the tutorial sake, I'm going to be adding mine. Um, now, you have an option down here that says, stay connected, which meaning it'll stay connected to your uh, iTunes if you want it to. That way, it'll be faster next time you launch remote. But I don't use that because it drains battery life pretty quick. So I'm just going to say add library. And what it's going to do is it's going to generate this random passcode. And as soon as it does that, you're going to notice on your iTunes that you should have it open. Um, under devices, it's going to pop up. And I'm just going to turn this webcam so you guys can see. It's going to pop up with this. I'm going to zoom in for you guys to see here on my uh, this program called Zoom It. It says devices, Adrian's iPhone. And it gives you that little remote thing. So I'm going to zoom out now and as you see here this little passcode right here you're going to want to enter that into the iTunes uh, thing so all you're going to do is here sorry let me find my cursor um, you're going to want to go to Adrian's iPhone click it and it's going to give you this add remote for iPod touch and it's going to give you four digits and you just want to type in this passcode so I'm going to type in 4208 and it's as simple as that you are now enabled for this to control as iTunes and I'm just going to click OK and now I'm going to Scoot this back so you guys can see the remote here. And um, so you, you have access to all your purchase songs purchased from the library. Now, and since this is officially made by Apple, I think they didn't give you access to um, your actual music library. Like, I can't do all the other songs that I haven't actually gotten off iTunes for some reason. I don't know if it's just if there is a way to get it or just because Apple only wants you playing the purchase songs that you've had bought from iTunes. But So it's kind of weird. I mean, you do have access to your playlist, though and stuff like that so maybe you can play it if it's on your playlist but uh, I see no way to actually get to the actual just music but you can search so maybe let's see let's try searching a song that I haven't I didn't buy off iTunes let's see if this works um, for example one second here I'm just gonna search a song called uh, Shadow and yeah, I think it only shows you the songs that you've actually... Oh, no. Okay, there you go. So it does show you songs that you actually haven't purchased. So the, the search works fine. So I'm going to another one. Come, let's see. Okay, there you go. See, now it's not showing me some songs. So it might not show you some songs in your actual music library, but if you've purchased them, you should be fine. And again, it's an, uh, it's an official Apple application. That's why I'm guessing. So I'm just going to go over to Playlist again. I'm going to hit Purchased. And it's going to show you me all the songs that I've purchased here. And you can simply click one. So I'm just randomly click a song here. And you're going to hear it start to play. And it's playing Gimme Shelter by the Rolling Stones. You can adjust the volume. And you can hear it getting louder, lower, mute it, pause. All this wirelessly, guys. And I've tried this across the room, across the house. It works great. So I can go to the next song here. And she even shows you the cover flow. And it's a really, really great application, guys, and you can see the info, of course. Awesome, awesome thing. Now, I'm not sure exactly, again, like I said, how to get to the actual music library. I'm still trying to find that out here, but I'm not seeing anything. Okay, there you go. So you just have to search by album and then artist. They don't have, like, a an actual just... There you go. Song. So you actually, to access your music library, you want to go to more and click songs. This is where everything is. Sorry, I didn't notice this in the beginning, so I'm even learning something new from the tutorial. Um, you have access to your videos, audiobooks, everything, if you just hit the little more icon in the bottom right. And click songs, and there is your whole library. That's what I was looking for. So this application's even, you know, that much more great. 
Um, so I'm just going to, again, you know, flick through all the songs. Amazing, guys. It just uses a wireless remote. Again, great for parties, uh, home, you know, media centers, stuff like that. You can use this wirelessly on your iPhone or iPod Touch, guys. Again, a free app, so why not try it out? Um, you know, it's great. Check it out. It's called Remote, made by Apple. Anyways, guys, thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed this application review and how to set it up and everything. Um, so, yeah, check it out. Uh, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.